Hello and welcome. Let's chat for a few minutes about The Girl of the Golden West by Puccini. This is the most recent uh, opera that I saw slash heard. I saw a production at Virginia Opera um, by Virginia Opera on December 2nd. There is my ticket. Um, yeah, I love this graphic. <laughs> the Girl of the Golden West. Let me just pull up the, uh, the title page here. The production that I saw, there it is. And I won't read through the whole cast, but the conductor was Andrew Besance, and the director was Lillian Groig. And our mini was Jill Gardner, and our Dick Johnson was Roger Honeywell. There is the rest of the cast there. And on the back page, there is the chorus and the orchestra. So, yeah. This opera, uh, I read up a little background on it. It premiered in 1910 at the Metropolitan Opera in New York City, and it was, from what I read, the first opera to have its world premiere at the Met in New York, and it was directed, uh, conducted by um, Arturo Toscanini, and who described the opera as, I think, a great symphonic poem, uh, he said. And the, um, the tenor, uh, Dick Johnson slash Ramirez, uh, was sung by Enrico Enrico Caruso, the 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 major early twentieth century uh, opera star that did a lot of recordings at the time. I've listened to some of his vintage recordings on Spotify. They've got a real vintage uh, audio uh, patina to them, but a, really kind of a pleasure to listen to these old kind of scratchy um, recordings from more than a hundred years ago or a hundred years ago. So anyway, yeah, so I thought that was kind of cool about the premiere. Um, what this opera is about is um, it's set in the Old West, you might can tell from the graphic, um, in California, the gold rush in a mining camp. Um, there's a, a saloon there called the Polka. It's run by, um, in this mining camp, run by um, a a woman named Minnie. All the miners really love Minnie. You know, the miners have given up a lot of a lot of things. They've given up their families from back home. A lot of them are homesick or and whatnot. And Minnie is sort of a a figure that they all uh, flock to for comfort and for uh, I guess you know sort of a stability. And they all kind of love her a little bit. But Sheriff Rance really loves her and wants to marry her. Uh, so they're they're in the, in the saloon and um, you know uh, many they're kind of singing about their homesickness and stuff. And then the Wells Fargo guy comes in and says, you know this Ramirez guy, this bandit, that's really there been everyone's looking for um, is is supposedly in the vicinity. So kind of beware. Well, you know, this stranger walks in, Dick Johnson, and as it, as it turns out, he and Minnie had met previously a few months prior uh, somewhere, maybe San Francisco or Monterey. I, I can't remember exactly where they met, but they met somewhere else um, previously. And, um, you know, so, but the miners and Sheriff Rance were like, who is this person? And Minnie's like, oh, don't worry, I know him, I'll vouch for him, you know, because she's kind of smitten with him. Um, Dick Johnson's, you know, totally smitten with her. Well, uh, she invites him to her uh, to her little cabin later for a dinner. Well, um, you know, this is kind of like the really abbreviated plot, by the way. I'm not trying to be really in depth, but Minnie ultimately uh, discovers that uh, that that uh, Dick Johnson is none other than the bandit Ramirez. Uh, the sheriff comes to tell her this. And not only that, but he has a um, a girlfriend uh, who is who has apparently a rather bad reputation herself. Uh, so Minnie's like, you know, well, you know, she still really loves him. She's hiding him actually from the sheriff. She hides him. He's been shot, um, gets shot as he's sort of trying to get away, um, and many, many tries to hide him, but he does get found out, and basically the, the sort of the rough and tumble of this mining camp, they're going to lynch him, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to hang him rather on the spot, and many uh, inter intercedes, you know, you know, there at the end in Act 3, and uh, really wants, uh, ask, tells the miners, you know, are they going to take her happiness away after all she's done for them and the miners realize that they can't take away Minnie's chance for happiness and so they 
they let they let him go, and he and Minnie sort of ride off into a sunset, um, you know, in happiness. So that's kind of the plot. Um, but you know, the musically, the interesting thing was, you know, I read up a little bit on the music too. But the interesting thing was, it's really recognizable. It's very American. I thought that was kind of unusual. I read up a little bit about it, and apparently, this play, The Girl of the Golden West, that which the opera is based on, had used Stephen Foster songs, and um, so Puccini really, I think maybe got inspired by American sort of music, folk music, you know, of the time. And also he did some research. Apparently some of the music is based on, at least some of, one a part of the music is based on a, uh, a Native American tribe, the Zuni tribe, one of their songs uh, that's a hymn to the sun god. So I thought that was kind of cool because the music really sounds, you know, American, really puts put us puts us in that in that place. You know, me emotionally as an American, I, I recognize that I'm not sure about people around the, the world, but I did and uh, really sort of identified with it. I read up, you know, a little bit about the themes of the music. There's a theme of like the chaos of the mining camp and the, this this sort of rough and tumble of the undeveloped uh, West, the Wild West, in other words. And then uh, that sort of transposes also to the, the chaos of the human heart. Because, you know, Minnie um, is conflicted. She's in love with this guy. She finds out he's abandoned and she, a bandit and she does not care. Um, she actually tells the crowd at one point, um, the, cra the, the crowd of the miners who's getting, who are getting ready to, to hang um, Ramirez slash Dick Johnson, um, you know, that he was redeemed. The, the bandit uh, Dick Johnson died in her cabin and the new honest Dick Johnson was born then. And so if they hang uh, him now, they'll be hanging an innocent man. I think that's so poetic. That's so, so beautiful though, you know? And so, uh, but then there's other, this, other than this chaos theme, there's, there's a, the theme of redemption. Because ultimately I think that's what this opera is about, is sort of the redemptive power of love. And even though it sort of sounds really naive that, um, many would fall for this guy, you know, who is comes actually when he comes to the the uh, the polka the saloon originally, and he sees many. He's actually coming there intending to rob it because the miners only trust many with their with their gold, and so she has the gold there that she watches out after because she's the one that the miners trust. And so he actually Ramirez slash Dick Johnson had gone to the polka to rob it, but when he saw many, he was like, I cannot rob her because I love her. Um, so you know, it's kind of nice naive though that many would uh you know to us today maybe and i'm where our jaded modern kind of contemporary society where we go yeah right um that he's gonna turn this new leaf you know he's got this like kind of girlfriend that's questionable herself with questionable morals herself um he's a bandit yet many just believes that he's really been transformed by her love and you know that might not happen all the time in real life but we want it to be true you know don't we and so in this opera you know you want it to be true and so the music this is puccini you know so this is this is this is not the dr drama maybe of madame butterfly but it nevertheless, you know, it just takes us to that emotional place where we feel like, it, you know what, it is true, you know, and they're going to leave and they're going to be happy. That's how I left the opera anyway. So, um, yeah, so um, I think that's it. You know, I think that's really all I wanted to say about the opera. Um, I did enjoy it uh, immensely. I meant to, before doing this chat, I meant to look up what my next opera is going to be. It's a while away, I think think it might be Don Carlo. Um, I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, the next opera that I see, I do have tickets, uh, as I've mentioned on previous um, uh, videos, to not only the Washington National Opera this season, but also to Virginia Opera. So I do have more opera coming up. And I'll, of course, do chats when I when I get, uh, get them seen and uh, share my experience. So until next time, take care. Bye.